Good morning. Welcome back to the experts.com files. I'm Nick Rishwain. Uh, and today we're talking about the food, the chocolate recall case. Uh, it lost out to the cocaine GPS case, which is one of my favorites, but let's get into it. So the chocolate recall case is not like a recall that you're used to hearing about on the news, where it's uh, the Food and Drug Administration recalling a food item that's making people get sick or a pharmaceutical that might be defective. Or you may hear about uh, when the Department of Transportation issues a recall on a defective automobile that's causing accidents. This is not that type of an issue. This is a litigation or lawsuit between two parties. Also, I should note, I'm aware that you want to see things other than my office when I do these, but it's too hot right now, so you're going to have to wait to the fall. So these two parties were it went like this. The plaintiff was a manufacturer of chocolate, and the defendant was a distributor of chocolate. Now, the defendant claimed that the chocolate was defective. I, I don't know. They didn't give me the fact of what that was. Maybe it was inedible. Maybe it didn't. Uh, maybe it melted too quickly. I don't know. How do you make defective chocolate? I'm going to eat it. Nevertheless, they couldn't sell it, so they pulled the chocolate back, and then they refused to pay the invoice, uh, the plaintiff's invoice. And from there, that's a breach of contract. Who breached the contract becomes the thing that they need to argue over, and what the damages are, are what you need to argue over. And for experts.com, we were asked by one of the attorneys uh, to find an FDA expert because they needed to know what industry standards were for making a recall. And that's the chocolate recall case.